All right, we have an old palette full packs. We'll see how old things add. August of 2019, here we go. Those would be the prompts if we were in August. That's long past, so we are probably not gonna look at deal with those. We have blending stumps. Looks like it's all about pencils here. Art Alternatives Woodless Pencil Set. Oh, those are interesting. Hmm. Oh, I picked this box randomly and I'm very happy that it was the one I picked because I have needed, needed, <laughs> I have needed a kneaded eraser every single time I draw because I used to have one and I've apparently misplaced it so I knew I had this one because I pulled it out to use before but I had no idea which box it was in since the move and stuff so needed eraser that's like the best thing in this box well I don't know that we'll find out pencil case branded kind of fun okay Mars white plastic eraser I like these these are kind of cool and a black art eraser. Want to see what the difference is between those? I don't know. Lots of pencils. Wolf's Carbon. A General's Layout, extra black. We just got that in the box I opened on Friday. Exact same thing. So now we have two of them. And remember in that that video, I said extra black. It's not that black, really. It's very gray. Oh, actually, I just did a thing with that old, old pencil on that. There. All right, another carbon in a 4B. Another carbon in a 6B. 2B. Paper, glass, plastic, metal. An aquarellable. Stabilo. So this looks like a water-soluble water graphite pencil, if you want to call it graphite. We'll have to look at the directions. And a gen general's drafting? 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 Does anyone know how to pronounce that? I'm just going to say drafting, because I'm American. <laughs> All right. So these carbon pencils, finest drawing and sketching pencils available. They offer advantages of both graphite and carbon. Doesn't contain the resins and byproducts created by the process used to make car charcoal. And they have a fine grain with a consistent texture. Cool, that should be fun. And this paper, last thing. How do we get that out of there? That's really stuffed in there. Okay. Stippled texture, B Paper Company. 9 by 12, 132 pound. That's thick for drawing paper. That's cool. Nice bright white. And yeah, it's, I don't know if you guys can see this at all, but the texture on this paper is really cool. It said stipple texture, and that's exactly what it looks like. Let's see if I rub some pencil over this, if you guys can see that. Can I see that texture there? Interesting. All right, I don't know what we're gonna do with this, but we'll find out. Here's all the goodies, all organized, and I'm not fully excited about this being all pencil set. I do a lot of stuff with my hands and wrists and my hobbies, and they really hurt. And this is gonna take some time to do something fun and proper with this, so I hope you guys will forgive me if I do something really simple. I just been at the gym way too many weeks with bars and then we went dirt biking Friday and things hurt and I don't want to hurt them more by spending a ton of time on a pencil drawing because I'm not that fond of pencil drawing to start with mm, so I'm just gonna maybe pick something simple and ask your forgiveness and hope that you enjoy it anyway and I am excited to try out this paper because wow is it ever unique so we'll just figure out something simple and go with that. 
you ever get tired of watching people swatch things on these YouTube videos? <laughs> Unfortunately though, it's a necessary part of the process because especially with these, I needed to see how light and dark I could get each of them. And I knew that in a graphite drawing, your lights and darks are gonna be really important and I'm not all that great at it, but we'll see how it goes. That aqua rellable pencil was fun. It did dissolve in water, but the paper did not handle the water well at all. So I'll probably avoid that with this paper. And then the blending stubs work just like they're supposed to. So nothing special there. Just tried them all out, all these supplies, see how they go. So I know I've mentioned it before, but this paper is really plasticky. So if I get the drafting, drawing pencil. Can you hear this? I hope you can hear this. So it's definitely like writing on plastic. So I am just dying to give this a try. So we will get right into the project now. I debated long and hard about what to draw and finally decided this glass of water was going to be the thing. So I didn't know how easy or complicated this would be, but I was just going to dive into it and do it. So I started out with that General's pencil, the drafting one. I tested and tested and it seemed like my lightest one and I needed a light value in the background. So putting that all over the place, I did briefly try the 2B on that other one and it was a little dark until later and then blended everything out with the stump. So you can see I'm trying the eraser a few times and then realized some places definitely did need to be darker so I brought that 2B in of the woodless pencil and then coming in with the carbon pencils because they were my darkest ones the 6B, 4B I used the regular B in a few places as well and just trying to get the darks really really dark with this was my challenge and just persisted. Lots of layers and lots of blending and it actually looks way easier on video now that I'm re-watching it than it felt like in person so <laughs> at least there's that right? Yay for uh, speeding things up. So then I'm going in with my details on the glass itself and basically just look at the reference photo and everything's just broken down into shapes so forget that it's a glass and look at your shapes and do the shapes in the right colors and you'll pretty much turn out with something that looks like an art piece, at, <laughs> at least in some aspect. You can see I brought my bamboo paper towel over that I used in all my painting to dab my brush off with just to put under my hand. I have glassine but I was too lazy to go get it out and my bamboo towel always sits there next to me on my desk so I grabbed that for my hand rest and it worked great. <laughs> and it's very colorful, so it adds a little color to this black and white drawing, right? So I started in there, that middle part, with the 6B carbon, and then just used whatever was left over on my blending stump to take it into those more gray areas. And I'll go back and darken a few things here and there later, but that blending stump really does darken pretty well. I couldn't get a perfect blend, like nothing... I couldn't get rid of the texture of the paper and I think it's partly because it is so incredibly plasticky that the blending some you're just not going to get into those holes of the paper and I think that's probably why they call it stipple paper I mean I think that's exactly the point point. and on it it even says it's perfect for tattoo artists and stuff to do their art so there's probably a lot of other things you could do with this paper in fact I'm I have a whole pad of it now, so I definitely need to go online and look up on their website and see what they recommend doing with it and see how I can use it in the future. So for now I'm just doing the glass and trying to finish it up and again not spending a whole lot of time on it. This is something when I'm putting out videos I have to find an endpoint at some point or the video will never go up, but this is something I'm probably going to look back on over the next few days, even after this video is released and go, oh yeah, I need to darken that, or oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that spot. And I'll go back in and change those things after this video is out. So just because you see something that's considered a finished project on this video, it is not always. We just have to do these things sometimes quickly. And just like normal, you'll look back at it later and you're like, yep, I gotta change that. So if you guys see something glaring, I will probably find it pretty soon. And uh, then I'll fix it. 
So here is just me putting the supplies away. That whole box does fit in their little pencil case. And all the rest of the pencils are going to go in there, except for this Debello Aquarellable pencil because that is dissolvable with water, even though we saw some of the carbon was also. I just want to keep it separate so I can sketch with it and water soluble things. So thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I'll be doing a lot of them on this channel. Really appreciate your time today. Have a great week and we will see you next week.